Hey everyone, and welcome back to BMX News, a live weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week in the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. Do this every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have 15 people in the chat. Hell yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's shout some people out real quick. We got old fat guy BMX, Jeff Mead, Ken Nichols, Sankey, Tech Six, Kevin Jackson, DFL Jays in here as well. I appreciate all of you for tuning in to this live. It's cool that we have people who are showing up every week and we just hang out, talk about BMX news. So the first thing that I want to talk about this week are the S&M Rambler frames that are now available. Nathan and Lucas Hallahan both have their signature Rambler frames, and this has been very anticipated. So... I will just pull up the specs real quick in case anybody wants to see those. These frames are both available in 21 through 21 and a half. One of them has a shorter back end than the other. One of them has a steeper head tube than the other. And it looks like the rest of the specs are the same. Yeah, so slight differences between the two of them. And there's a couple color differences as well. But I figured I'd talk about these, and there's this video from s and called Rambler, and it's them talking about a little bit to do with the frames and then riding at nine acres. Kurt Rowell is in here. What's up, Kurt? And so if you want to get a Rambler frame, you can now. And if you want to save 10% on a Rambler frame, you can use my code Brant at s and Or if you want to buy a complete fit or anything else from s and or fit you can use that code and i'm pretty sure it still even works when they do these flash sales where bikes are like 200 or 250 dollars so you could save even more money and anytime you use that code you help me out at the same time and speaking of nathan hallahan we have his trail rider of the year video from our bmx nathan won the nora cup for trail rider of the year and awesomely they did a photo shoot with Chris Doyle, Mark Patozny, and Nathan Hallahan, all who have won Nora Cups. It's pretty awesome. And then there's just this video that our BMX does where they put a compilation of clips and people talking about why they voted for that person. Pretty cool. So moving on from there, we got a couple more of these Rider of the Year videos. This one is the Women's Rider of the Year. Paris Benegas won this one. Naturally, I mean, with the video from Vans, her part in that just, it was obvious that that was what was going to happen. And so, yeah, you want to learn why people voted for her and see some riding clips. Check it out. Then we got you, Katagiri, Flat Rider of the Year, taking it away from Kyo Hayakawa. I think that was who won in the past two years. Pretty cool. So watch that one if you want to hear why people voted that way. Then we've got some non-video news and some randomness here that was posted on RBMX is that Ben Ward is no longer working for GT Bicycles. So Ben worked for GT for quite a long time. I think it was almost 10 years, so nine years of working for GT. And there's a huge long post about it, some words from Fudger on here. And I thought it was interesting. And I hope that this isn't a sign of like where BMX is at, that a brand like GT is getting rid of. I mean, I don't know what happened either. It's possible that he left on his own accord. I'm not going to speculate. I just hope that this isn't a sign of where BMX is at. And if it is, I hope that it's a sign that it has finally reached the bottom of whatever it's doing right now so it can go back up. Moving on from there, we get into the videos from this week, starting with the shortest, going to the longest video. First up, video from Volume promoting the Melee Pegs featuring Sammy Combs, aka Papa Bison, shredding a skate park. These pegs are longer than what we see these days, 4.75, they're plastic aluminum core. You can check out the video if you want to, putting the pegs to work in this one for sure. I'm also happy to see Doyle getting the respect that he deserves, or continuing getting, yeah, you said still getting Mark 
Absolutely. Doyle's a legend, and I think everybody knows it and recognizes it. Next up, we got the video from Colony's Hard Yards with their Wall Ride Best Trick Contest. So it seems that the whole entire contest is being broken down into smaller videos, and it's cool. I can't wait to see what the second one holds now that a lot of people are finding out about it and hopefully get even more people there. Sick. Next up, a video from Albies with Josh Johnson called For the Birds Riding the Concrete Jungle Skate Park in Michigan. Josh Johnson is incredible on his bike. Seems like he's the kind of rider he can just do whatever on whatever. He's good at street riding, good at park riding, can just do whatever he seems to want to do. So check this video out if you want to see someone you may not have heard of before but is an absolute shredder. Then we got promo for the Fit Mixtape Frame. Also can be saved 10% on if you use my code. But this is with Jesse Lay Sommer and shredding around the streets on the Fit Mixtape. Killing it. We got Louis Otto Loose in Wellington down in Australia. Good video here if you want to check this one out. And then we got Charles Kundal 2023 from Cult. This video and this dude are incredible. The bike control, like people talk about bike control and movement of the bike in park riding, in trails riding. I feel like this is the case where you talk about bike control in terms of street riding because the stuff that he can do is wild. So, I mean, yeah, big burly rails, but the control of being able to move quickly in those situations also burliness in here but stuff like this where you hop over to a double peg and then hop back over to an oppo fakie feeble crank arm pegs hop over 180 on the curb <laughs> from being on the curb then hop back over to fakey pegs just the control of the bike is incredible so definitely check this one out next up we the People, one step closer. This is the heavy hitters of the We the People team. Felix Prangenberg, Jordan Godwin, Dan Crook, and Riley Smith in San Jose and San Fran. We the People in NorCal. It's exactly what you'd expect from these fellas. Absolutely destroying everything they touch in the most technical riding that there is in BMX right now. Giafafa! So yeah, watch this one if you want to see the most technical riding that you'll see all week. Then we've got S&M's Built Different section with Kareem and Aria Levinson. Check these fools out. Both of these guys kill it too. Then for the Flatland folks this week, we've got Matthias Dandois in a video for Vans called Music Box. Can't pretend like I understand Flatland, but I know Matthias is one of the best. Then we got a video from Profile, 1,600 miles to Saskatoon. So it's a trip Andrew, Lazarick, and crew took out to Saskatoon for the 8th annual Brett Craig Memorial Jam. Hidden skate parks along the way. So if you want concrete skate parks going fast, going high, this will be what you want to check out this week. Then if you want to talk creativity. We've got a video from Sunday with Eric Elstrand called Esoteric, spelled S-O T, and then Eric Elstrand's name. This one came out last Friday and is exactly what you know and love from Eric Elstrand. And there's so much creativity in here, but also really technical street riding. And it's just the kind of stuff that seems people only like Eric Elstrand can do. So much good stuff. Let's get a little preview in here. See if we can find. Because like there's some some of that like not a spin type stuff in here that are on setups. So you can only do that trick on that specific setup. So check out this. This is what I was talking about. Super technical street riding. Nose, feeble, over, feeble, over, manual, feeble, 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 over, feeble. Like, how many different tricks in that line was it? Let's count real quick because we can. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 piece combo, wild. But then you've got super creative stuff. So let's, let's try and find one of those in here real quick. Is this one? Downside double pegs. That's just difficult. This is the one I was talking about. Not this, but the next clip. That's just a really hard trick, too. This is what I was talking about. Feeble pop up, nada, three out. Boom. Amazing, as only Eric Elstrand can do. Then we got a video from Federal called Hello Mate. This one's mostly featuring their AM squad. Joe Jarvis is in here as well. Here's the list of riders from this video if you want to know who's in there. Check this one out, and this video is a little bit longer than previous. 617, raise your hand if you count it out loud with Brand Dora style. <laughs> oh, props to you for admitting that, Noah. But yeah, videos are getting longer as we talk about here. So next up, we've got Prime Minister of the Streets 2023 up in Toronto in Canada. And... Lots of companies held down helping out for this jam, and there was a $3,000 cash purse. Damn, what's up, Aru card? Next up, day trip to Callis on any Sunday. So if we go over to the YouTube page for this one, we can see who's in this video. This one's over 10 minutes long, so if you want to see a 10-minute video, you need a longer video. This is where you start watching today. Ian Morris is in here. But here's everybody from this video taking a trip over to Calais, France. Calais? Is it Calais? Somebody let me know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Next up, two videos from the UCI BMX Freestyle Park World Cup China. Jeez, that's a lot to say. But this is the amateur girls contest and then the junior girls contest. And if you look at the winners or the podium in general, look at this. I think everybody is from China. And that just shows how much China has invested in BMX and how much it's paying off. And when you watch these videos, these riders are incredible. Just the level of riding, and this is amateur and junior. You can only imagine what's gonna be happening when, they're, when they get older. Girls doing three whips at nine years old. Look at that. That's insane. 13 year old Miharu came out swinging with perfect 360s, flips, and trucks. It's actually insane. It is actually insane. If you want to see the future of women's BMX, just check these two videos out. Then the only interview type video this week. Actually, I'm lying. I did a bike check with Jacob Theme, and that's up on my channel that came out this past week. So you can watch that. But also a video bike check from Source with Devin Smiley, if you want to check that out. And just to make sure we got nothing new to talk about, that is it. That's everything we had to talk about in the news this week. If you guys had anything else, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite video was from this week. I definitely say the Charles video from Cult is a must watch but i'm curious your guys's favorite video from this week as well so let me know in the comments down below and we will see you tomorrow for another video thanks for watching and also give me a suggestion of what i should react to this week because i'm about to film that too so leave it in the comments as soon as this goes live as video and we'll see you tomorrow for another video thanks for watching everyone yeah happy